I'm going to do a very quick demo of um, how to navigate online.2m.com as a trial user. What you get to see, how you get to see this course, how you can uh, go through that. Fine. I'm going to sign in as a free user. Start off with online.2m.com. Click on this and then you will get on to the website where you can sign in as a trial user and then navigate through the product. Fine. So, you can sign up or log in. If you already have a trial ID, then you log in. Now I'm going to create a trial ID, so I'm signing up. So this is, let's say, Sign in with some password and then give a phone number and then I can sign up for free. So you can give an, uh, any, an email address, a password and a mobile number. You need practically nothing else to sign up and try this course. It takes about a half a minute or one minute for the course to load and then immediately you can jump to C classes. And so the tech team has put together a very light course where you can just jump into the course. I saw the course that is there, I've jumped into it. It already says enrolled. You have an option of buying the course, but right now I don't want to buy the course. I want to see what I get to access, how the course is structured as if when I have signed in as a trial user. You notice the courses in this bundle, quantitative ability, data interpretation and logical reasoning, verbal ability. Here there are two free classes, two free classes and one free class. Apart from this, there are a bunch of other courses which effectively tests and mocks and all that. I'm not interested in that, that I'll come to later on. First step, I want to know what will happen if I sign into a course, what will I be able to access? How, what will I get to see in the freely available class? How do I get to navigate across different sections in the freely available course slash class? That's my number one priority. If I've signed up as a trial user, what do I get to see? Okay. I, once I've clicked on quantitative ability, this is what I land on. I'm going to look at this in more detail. For DILR and verbal, practically the same. Okay. Even this, the UI is very friendly. Okay. So it's very user friendly. So if you look at this, you've opened up to a topic, percentages, with a bunch of lessons inside that. If I click on this, then that folds in, and then I can see the entire table of contents for, for quant. You have percentages, profit and loss, simple and compound interest, averages. If you go down, you get number query 1, 2, 3, 4, and this combinatorics, geometry, geometry 1, 2, 3. Geometry 1 is free, and percentages is free. So this is the stack for table of content. I'm going to click on percentages, then see what the free classes. What does a class look like? I'm going to click on some one topic. So this is what the class actually opens up to. There is a video which you can watch. Course start with the notice, basic ideas and percentages. Pause that so that we can hear this volume and not that one. Right? So if you notice a bunch of these lessons on the right hand side are clearly seen. All the lessons and percentages are seen on the right. Again a table of contents within the topic. And then you open up with a video for some very simple theory. All our videos are about four to nine minutes long, not too many, too long videos. Any lesson will have video and our slides. So if you click here, you can see whatever is there in the video in slides. Now, some of the lessons do not have video, but they're very simple ideas. Whatever has a video, there will always, always be follow up slides for that. So if you're in a hurry, you want to skip through, you can just see the slides. If you understand it very clearly, then you can skip the video part. And that's how we have built the course. Now you've seen this, you want to go to the next one, you can jump out. You want to go to the next one, you can jump out. For the simpler ones, there'll be no video. For even the slightly trickier one, there'll be a video also. Now, a bunch of lessons here. There's something else we've added here, which is what we call as a checkpoint quiz. There's a checkpoint quiz one and a checkpoint quiz two for practically every topic. A simple quiz, it opens up to a quiz interface and then you answer questions. Beyond checkpoint one and checkpoint two, we have a prep edge quiz. Now, what's the difference between checkpoint quiz and prep edge quiz? Checkpoint quiz is merely for consolidation. And it's to say, look, I've learned these three bits. I want to practice five, six questions on this to know whether I understand these three bits very clearly. Prep edge quiz is for benchmarking. Now, I've covered this topic. Am I good enough to handle questions of the level seen in CAT in this topic? So the prep edge questions are that little bit tougher. The interface, the UI is exactly the same. The prep edge quiz, the, the level is tougher and it is benchmarked to what you will see. I've clicked on prep edge quiz. I want to see how the quiz interface looks like. This is how it looks like. Very simple. Click, save and next. I'm going to click this. Save and next. There are about seven questions in any prep edge thing. I'm not even going to answer all seven. I'm going to submit this. Now I want to see how the test interface looks after you have submitted. Get to this screen. You see a bunch of good performance in this. And then you see what your score is, what your number is. Check answers. I want to see how the solutions look like. 
very very user friendly UI. You click on this, it opens up to a slideshow. Very similar to our original thing, but this is a model it jumps up. And then you can see the solutions. Again, for the tougher questions here, there will be videos embedded inside this. So if I go to a slightly trickier question, there will probably be a video embedded inside the slide. So it will be a slideshow or a slideshow with video. Both are feasible within the, within the test interface. I'm going to exit this. So we've seen how the courses are lined up. We've seen within a class how the lessons are stacked up. We've seen how the table of content appears. We've seen how the quizzes are lined up. We've seen the distinction between checkpoint quiz and prepage quiz. And so from the prepage quiz, I've exited. And then now I'm looking to go back to the original course, the course structure. And so this is the course structure. Now, within this, if you notice, there is something called a syllabus, something called as discussions, and something called as notes. So, the discussions is anyone who has posted a question, you can see it on the discussion forum. So, anytime you have a doubt, all you need to do is hit discussions. Anytime you want to write a note to yourself, you can click on notes and write that. So, notes are private, discussions are public. So the entire discussion forum is available here. So, how do I post a question on discussion? Very simple. You're here. You've clicked on this. This tab here lets you post a question on discussion. You see everything else that has been posted there. Everything else that has been uh, answered as well. You can view the replies. You can see what we've answered. Now remember, this entire forum is moderated. All, all the questions and replies that you see here would have been uh, answered by us. If it had been answered by somebody else, that means we have verified it. So if you're, if you're letting a, a reply say here, that means one way or other we are saying, look, we know this is right, don't worry about it. So this is moderated. So you won't have to worry about funny wrong answers sitting there. So the discussion forum is a very useful platform to answer those questions. Okay. I'm going to go back to the original screen where we landed. If you notice here it says, please confirm your email address. So the moment you sign up as a trial user, you've got an email saying, look, you've signed up as a trial user, kindly click here to confirm. You need to click on that and confirm that email address to have to enjoy continued access. Of original access is automatically available. So you click in as a trial user, you can see this course for an hour, two hours, see everything that is freely available without even confirming your email address. But if you log out and then come back the next day, then you should have confirmed your email address to enjoy continued access. You are given about five to six classes free, uh, two or three entire courses free, a bunch of tests free and a mock free. So about give or take 20% of the course is freely available for you to check, verify in the original UI. There's no nothing that, that it's not like some uh, section has been selected to be demo friendly. From this, we've arbitrarily picked the course to check it. So please do check this out, check the course out. We've taken a lot of effort to make the UI as friendly as possible. Uh, and a lot of course, a lot of effort to build the course as well. So we've been very careful. We, we, we won the whole hat of a student, which is why we made the video shorter, the classes bundled, the classes modularized, all of that we're worried about. Any feedback you have, you know how to reach us, drop us an email as well. But do check out the course and best wishes for your kid.